So in this presentation, we're going to discuss the Eagle Board of Review. You know, an Eagle Board of Review is a big moment in any scout's life. It really is. You'll find that conducting an Eagle Board of Review is actually pretty simple. And it's actually one of my favorite jobs in scouting. Me too. I really enjoy uh, being part of an Eagle Board of Review. And for the most part, the Eagle Board of Review is like all the other boards of review that a scout has participated in. There's just a few differences. That's right, and we're going to explain them now. So how are boards of review for the Eagle rank different? The way Eagle boards of review are constituted and held are going to be the decision of the council. They're going to decide whether boards of review are held at a council or a district or unit level and who will make up the boards of review. They'll also select the chairperson for an Eagle board of review. At least one council or district representative is going to be a member of each Eagle board of review. So when in the process of becoming an Eagle Scout is the board of review held? Well, we've got more information about that in the presentation on Eagle, mm -hmm. but the Board of Review is only held after the council has verified a completed application for Eagle. Okay. Do these last about the same length as other Boards of Review? Well, generally, an Eagle Board of Review is going to last at least 30 minutes, but rarely longer than 45 minutes. Since the Scout has only allowed one Board of Review for Eagle, it's important to do it right. The Board of Review cannot be denied or postponed due to unresponsive references. And if a unit leader or committee chair fails to sign the application, the Board of Review still goes forward. So we all know that in order to earn the rank of Eagle Scout, all the requirements have to be completed before the 18th birthday. Is that true of the Board of Review as well? No, actually the Board of Review can be held within three months of a Scout's 18th birthday with no special approval. But what happens if we can't hold a board within three months? Between three and six months from a candidate's 18th birthday, local council approval must be obtained. And what if we still can't have it? If a board can't be held until more than six months after a candidate's birthday, the National Advancement Team must pre-approve the board. I've heard of adults getting their Eagle when they completed all the requirements as a youth. That's right. There is actually a belated Eagle Scout application for those who completed but never received Eagle as a youth. Wow, I thought this was going to be a lot more complicated. No, not really. Other than the fact that the district and the council are involved and the board is only held after council certifies the application for EGLE, the EGLE board is administered and conducted much like any other board of review. So no brass band, no red carpets, nothing like that? <laughs> nope. As with all boards of review, we want them to be conducted in a formal but relaxed atmosphere. Okay. We have lots of other presentations on boards of review, appeals to boards of review, boards of review under disputed circumstances. We also have a presentation on the Eagle Scout project and the Eagle Scout application. We really don't have enough to do with our time, do we? <laughs> I guess we have a little spare time here and there. Uh, if you have any other questions about Eagle boards of review, consult the Guide to Advancement 2011. If that doesn't answer your questions, you can always talk to your district and council advancement coordinators. Yep, it's always important to start with them. If you're still stumped, however, you can email the National Advancement Team at advancement.team at scouting.org. So I'm Lisa. And I'm not. No, you're still Clark. In spite of it all. Well, someone has to be Clark. <laughs>